Um, so, hello, honored guests, hello, artists, and artslink builders. We are so glad that you are here today to share with us in this exciting experience. And so, we're here to show you that Red Necklace Production. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> No, we're here to tell you that vocal warm-ups are important. <laughs> okay, so we're here to tell you that Red Necklace Productions can change people's minds. We're theater artists, and with a mixture of creativity and ingenuity, we shape human experience. Whoa. Business clown. <laughs> so I'm Alicia, I'm the artistic director. And I'm Mireya Albao, the operations manager. And we're both committed to making theater and staying in New Brunswick. We like challenges. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> and we take on this challenge <laughs> because we know that theater has the power to make the world a better place. So our company makes work that is tailor-made for the patron and the audience. <clears throat> Customer and client business. Right. Value proposition. This is what it's all about. <laughs> so let me explain what TaylorMade means. In 2010, we created a play for Funday National Park. They wanted to educate their audience on how wonderful eels are and what the big giant concrete thing was that they built. And they wanted it to be funny and they wanted it to be engaging for all ages. They wanted it to be bilingual. They wanted it to be performed in six different locations and they wanted the play to be 15 minutes. Okay, so we did it. We achieved exactly the results that they wanted. We showed our play to the visitors and they were educated as to what the fish way was and how it worked and why it was important. We transformed ourselves into underwater creatures every Saturday and made alive the wonder that Funding Park cherishes. And we really, really love eels now. They're really cool, frankly, by the way. <laughs> Just but we can, we can talk about that later. <laughs> I love the people. Here's another example where, uh, this, in this case, the goal was changing mindsets. We were commissioned by Eugène Leblanc, who is an advocate for mental health uh, consumers and mental health survivors. He wanted the public to gain more understanding and more compassion for those people that are enduring the stigma of mental illness. And so he commissioned a, a play from us, asked us to perform it five times in three different locations. And he was so happy with the result that he set aside, he has now set aside further funding for us to bring the show to more audiences. The standing ovations, the really touching Q&As with the audiences, and uh, showed us, proved to us that the combination of our talented theater artist, we actually have her here today, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And Eugene's important message made the world a better place. Um, when a, a professor of psychology came up to us after the show and gushed that our play was a masterpiece, like literally, she said masterpiece, I've never gotten that one before. <laughs> and she said that it should be seen by all students of psychology, we knew that we had done our job and we'd done something good. And by the way, that professor is working now to bring the play to Mount A and she also hopes to help us go to Lebanon, her home country of Lebanon, to do it there. We're absolutely delighted. It's crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. So now, after boot camp, we are at this climactic moment of Catapult Demo Day, and we have now figured out how to articulate what it is, the problem, that we can solve for you. You have things you need to communicate in the course of running your business or your organization. You have people and markets to educate and to influence. And how do you do that? You use promotional materials, meetings, PowerPoint. I heard a scientist say recently that bad PowerPoint presentations are a serious threat to the global economy. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> um, there's not only lack of understanding, but there's lack of engagement, and then there's loss of productivity after that because people are bored and lethargic or they're angry at having sat through another horrible presentation or they're embarrassed at having given that horrible presentation, you know? It, so, yeah, it's gonna, it could be bad. If you are going to get a message across to someone, <laughs> engage them. 
<laughs> um, without rapport, without emotional connection, without presence. You're going to bore people. So Alicia, we have this problem now that these people have. What are we going to do? Oh, I'm so glad you asked me today. Because we have a solution. The play is the thing. <laughs> Hamlet knew it. Shakespeare knew it. We know it. Theater is a shake-up from the ordinary. It touches people's hearts and minds, and it engages them. So if you want to make something compelling, make it a play. We offer two products to help you illuminate, communicate, and change people's minds. We offer sparkling plays that are tailor-made to engage the audience of your choice. And we offer workshops, whether for team building, presentation skills, or others. We have many offerings. So hire us, and we will ask you, what is it that you want your audience to come away with? And what is your vision? And we will help you to make it happen. And we're flexible as to how we do it. We've delivered our products in stadiums, in forests, in a convention center, in, and we could actually do it on a cruise ship if ever we have passengers. Yeah. <laughs> we're open to that. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else? Where are we at? <laughs> Just thinking about cruise ships. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we definitely would like that. Oh, right. Okay, so. Yeah. Why us? Why us? Well, we're fun. Um, but not only that, Mireille here, she has a master's in civil engineering. What? I know. Um, and she was an engineer for uh, Canada's leading water treatment company. And then she got another master's in strategic leadership, strategic leadership towards sustainability. Okay, amazing, right? And then she made a strategic choice and she chose to train to be a clown. <laughs> I get it, it makes sense. So when I met her six years ago, because I needed an expert in clowning, uh, I quickly realized that she was a logistical genius and an excellent stage manager. So I've kept her by my side <laughs> ever since. <laughs> and Alicia here is our theater genius. She lives and breathes theater. Look, well, she's breathing theater right now. <laughs> she is a magician in crafting a story to bring you along on this emotional journey without you even realizing it. She's relentless, relentless in demanding high quality of theater making from us, and she never tires of teaching us the craft. Drawing on her formal, her formal education in theater and her continued training that keeps her current, she is always looking to share her knowledge, mentor local creators, and just help us be better theater makers. Um, she's gonna ask, she always asks you ridiculously effective questions about that project you're working on, and then you can't help but move forward on it. She roped me into production six years ago, and I've never looked back. Thank goodness. <laughs> her, her logic definitely helps me. Um, but there isn't just us that make up Red Necklace Productions. We actually work with a wide network of people, a community, really. Um, we work with actors and volunteers and creators that span many different disciplines and industries. And when they work with us, they bring their talents, their unique perspectives, and their networks to our collaboration. So we are your experts in making people think and feel what you want to. If you are facing the challenge of getting a message across to your people or to the public, have your people talk to our people and we'll go for coffee. <laughs> um, uh, what was I going to say? Thank you. Oh, yeah. We did it for Fundy. We did it for Eugène de We're doing it for some lobster people right now. We can do it for you. Yeah. <laughs> So in the meantime, if you would like to see a sample of our work, because as artists, of course, we make our own plays as well. We want to make you think and feel the things we think we should. Um, so we're currently obsessed with on-screen, online lifestyles and how that is affecting our humanity. So we're in the middle of creating a play. It's an absurd comedy, and it's called It's All the Rage. So It's All the Rage shows February 5th and 6th at the St. John Theatre Company BMO Studio. Dates to be announced in other cities. Like us on Facebook and you'll be in the loop as to when and where. Thank you. Thank you for engaging with us today. We're so thankful to Kate Wallace and ArtsLink for inventing this program mm -hmm. and to Sarah Short 
who has imparted her business wisdom to us week after week, and likes that we call her business mom. <laughs> um, and, and to the artists that we have the pleasure of meeting and getting to know over these several weeks, thank you. Thank you so much for staying in New Brunswick and inspiring us here. So now we've all been enriched with business powers, and we are ready to enrich your business with theater powers. So let's collaborate and start writing the next New Brunswick success story. Thank you.